hey queens welcome back i hope you all are doing well today so today i am going to be showing you how i installed my 13 by 6 frontal box braid wig so the wig that i have on today is from my brand braids wig queen everything about the wig is going to be down on the info section be sure to click on it that is the direct link to my website as well as the direct link to this product so let's get started so this is what the wig looks like as you can see it's a 13 by 6 box braid wig um it comes with um elastic band sewn and cap and this is what the wig looks like and at the back is a dome cap this is the inside of the wig so at the back it's just gonna be um braided um braid strands attached to the back so that's it so this is the wig up close so your wig is gonna come in wrapped like that um and of course in that braid sweet queen bag as well so that's exactly how your wig is gonna come nicely wrapped packaged with the instruction manual so right now what i'm going to do is i am going in to use my um powder to apply it in the inner section of the wig the reason i am doing all of this is because i do not intend to use the bald cap method so i need the install to look as natural as possible so the next thing i'm going to be doing is first of all i want to go in to um thin out my baby hairs um i don't like the heavy baby hair if you like the heavy baby hair that is up to you you know you could just leave it like so but i just wanted to thin that out so please keep in mind that i am not in any way a professional wig installer um this is just me i struggle as a matter of fact i struggle every time to install my wig so what i'm just showing you this is like a template for you just in case you want to um um order a braided wig and you don't know how to install it like maybe you're a first timer or something or maybe you just want to learn one or two things from install you know this is just a template for you okay i am not a professional and <laughs> i am just doing it my way okay it's like a template for you so this is it after it's been thinned out and i just went in to braid it again so now i am going in with the powder again and i am just applying it to the outer section of the part like i said i do not intend to use the um ball cap or use any cap underneath so that's why i am using the powder so that way it's gonna come out more natural um without the um wig cap or stocking cap or bald cap or whatever it is you guys want to call it so yes yeah, so i am just going in now and i am just gonna do all of that with the wig once i'm done with that i am just going in to um seal the powder with my um makeup setting spray that's because i just want to eliminate that powdery look completely so this is what it looks like afterwards you can see it looks like the stocking cap method already so now it's time for insulation okay so the first thing i'm doing right now is i am just going in to unravel the baby hairs um that's what i'm gonna do first before i go in to glue it down so now i am trying to measure the part to where it's gonna sit along my ear one thing you need to know about braided wig is that the, that's the frontal braided wig is that um it's usually a 13 so there's no way anybody has a ear um to ear which is 13 so most of the time is always going to be longer like it's gonna go backward so i think with braided wig is most of the time the 13 by 6 frontal is not gonna sit pretty on your ear the way you want just like it's a full lace wig it's not gonna do that because it's longer and it's not gonna be easy for you just like regular human hair wig where you can easily just cut it because if you try to cut it it may not sit pretty on your ear or it may not just fall properly so that's what i did first so luckily for me I had it in a place where it fell pretty well so I just went in to cut that section first so I could tuck it behind my ear as you can see that's what I just did and then I went in to use my powder 
again so I could have that more natural look. I used the powder and then I went in with my bed head um, spray. So that's what I'm just doing pretty much. Um, you can see it is just um, like self explanatory. So I'm just going in to use the bed head spray to spray all of it. And I'm using my blow dryer to dry it so it could just stick so yes so i just wanted to get that information about the frontal because i've had customers sometimes will be like oh it just didn't sit well in my ear area yes it's 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 most likely not all the time it's gonna sit pretty there because it's a 13 by 6 frontal so if you have experience with braided wigs in a frontal you're gonna know this and also if your stylist is also experienced the stylist is gonna know that that's how how 13 by 6 frontal works with braided wig most times you're not gonna get it to sit pretty on your ear section you're just gonna let it you just have to make it work one way or the other so yes yeah, so once I'm done I went in and to tie um, the wig down and let it um, sit blow dry for like two three minutes and then I went out to cut it to take it out and now I'm just cutting it with my tiny scissors um, cutting the extra lace out uh, so that's what I'm pretty much doing now um, nothing much so once I'm done with cutting that part out I'm gonna have to um, seal it again so yes so um like i said this is a 13 by 6 frontal box braid wig everything is going to be down on the info section please, please be sure to check it out this is my brand braids wig queen please take note of the name braids wig queen um there's a chinese company that has a name similar to mine i don't know if it was like a deliberate thing yeah it's it probably was a deliberate thing but um yeah it's kind of like um similar to my name so a lot of people get that mixed up sometimes um so please take take note of the name um our wigs are totally different um if you go on their website and you go on my website the wigs are completely different um so yes yeah, so this is braids with queen so please take note of that so yeah once i went into cut the extra lace out i went in to use my um alcohol mixed with water to just clean off the excess um spray that has been dried just to get the nice install because if you leave it like that it's just gonna have like build ups and yeah it's gonna look really bad so you have to make sure you clean that wipe that off and then now i'm just going in with my bed head spray again and i'm sealing the um part where i cut off with um, my rat tail comb and I'm just going in to blow dry it again and yes yeah, so basically that is what I am doing now I just need it to look nice and natural so once I'm done with that I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna tie it down again And then yeah this is it so I'm gonna go in to do my makeup and I'll be back so yes this is me now with my face beat and I am back so it's time for me to do the baby hairs now so everything is nice and sealed and laid down and all of that stuff so now is the time for my baby hair so when you do this part be very very careful so you don't burn yourself um, especially since I'm not using the flat iron I'm using the curling iron so you can burn yourself easily okay so once you do this part um, from here on the next the rest of the video is just like self-explanatory um, you could lay your, lay your baby hair however way you want you don't have to do this exact process um, this is me like I said this is just the way I wanted to do it this video is just kind of like a template for you you could pick one or two things from here and you can just make it work for yourself and you can just you know maybe make it even better so yes like I said I am not a 
professional as a matter of fact i struggle with my install all the time so yes <laughs> so uh pretty much uh like i said the rest of the video is pretty much self-explanatory so this is uh, my brand braids with queen like i said this is our 13 by 6 um lace frontal wig um everything is going to be down on the info section please be sure to click on it that is a direct link to our website as well as the direct link to this wig all of our wigs are ready to ship um we do not do pre-orders so you don't wait um for so long to get your wig you wait um like minimum of three days your wig is already shipped out sometimes earlier than that but yes they are ready to ship which means they have already been made packaged and just ready to go um everything about the wig is always on the on, on the website such as any specification like length cap size all the details you need to know about the wig we're very transparent so you're gonna know everything um you need to know about the wig so yes like i said just be sure to click on the website and we're also on instagram as well we're braids with queen on instagram we're very very active on instagram like i said all of our wigs are ready to ship and they ship real fast we accept major um payment um methods once you go on the website you're gonna see them as well so yes thank you all so much for watching and be sure to click on the link on the info section to get the links to the wig thank you all so much for watching deuces